gentlemen, Ryan the Beer Snob. Thank you, thank you. Back at it again with another pumpkin beer for you today. This one is from Dogfish Head Brewing. It's called Pumpkin Ale. 7% alcohol by volume. And this one is a brown ale brewed with pumpkin, brown sugar, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Sounds delicious. So, let's go ahead and get this thing into the glass because I need to smell this. This has got to smell absolutely incredible. Got that nice... Yeah. Pour it hard down the center of the glass. Look at that head. Totally a respectable head by normal people's standards. Mm. And it has a beautiful pumpkin color. Look at that. Just looks nice. Got a great bit of carbonation coming up from the bottom. This sounds just like a slice of pumpkin pie. You know, right here. This is what they're calling their off-centered art series featuring Dan Stiles. I don't know, I guess Dan Stiles must be the artist that uh, did this. I don't know if there's, if this same beer has different artwork on the labels. I don't know because I only have this one. But, uh, yeah, looks great. I'm just getting a typical beer aroma off of it. it. I'm not getting any of those spices whatsoever. But, let me wet the whistle with it a little bit and see what we got. Cheers. Definitely, when that first bit hit my tongue, the spices come out. It's, it still retains that beer flavor, but it's got, you know, I'm not necessarily getting a pumpkin pie flavor, but I'm definitely tasting all of those spices. Great carbonation. It is, it is a delicious beer. I think so far I've had, this is my third of the pumpkin beers this year. Uh, if you remember, the, the second one I did was a great tasting beer, but it had chilies in it, so it had that, that hot spicy after that, uh, you know, might turn some people off. The first one was a, was a blue moon, and that one was incredible. This one is a great beer. I don't think it's as good as the blue moon was but it is great. This I can picture. You know, falls out, so it's cooler at night, you know, sitting around the fire pit, making s'mores, cooking some hot dogs over the fire. This would be a great beer to do that with. I mean, this is, this is nice. Mm. And it's got 7% alcohol by volume in it. So it's, uh, you know, th this, this beer is it's very flavorful, but you'll notice, I, you know, I've drank half the glass already. I'm finding it, uh, when I put it up on my lips, I don't just want to take a sip. I want to take several sips in a row because it's just, it's a very well put together beer. Mm. Yeah. That went down a lot smoother or easier than I thought it would. Let's say, when I say smooth, it's not flat. There's 
incredible carbonation there. Look at the lacing on the glass. See, this has got nice lacing there. It's great taste. Got a very, very slight bitter finish to it. Totally fine. Totally fine. I like it. I don't remember what I what I scored the uh, the Blue Moon, but uh, this is this is an eight. This is an eight. This is good. I don't think they put enough pumpkin in it. I'm really not tasting any pumpkin, but with all those other spices in it, it gives it a really nice flavor. Yeah. So, Dogfish Head uh, Brewing. I guess this is a collaboration. It says, uh, brewed and bottled by Dogfish Head Craft Brewery in Milton, Delaware, in collaboration with the Boston Beer Company. Dogfish.com. It's nice. I don't know what these things are. It looks like a frog and a mouse and a owl flying in some kind of a airship. It looks like a boat that's got a propeller on the back and instead of a hot air balloon it's got a pumpkin. So it's like a collaboration of different type of vehicles. Man, I wish I could wring this bottle out just to get Get those, look at that, getting the last few drops in there. It's good. Yeah. So, this is worthy of a try. If if you see it out and about, especially if you got uh, you got a store like Total Wine and more near you where you can go in there and they've got a huge selection. They've got, uh, you can just buy singles. That's what I did. Went in, got a bunch of singles of all these different pumpkin beers because I know some people they get turned off by the by the seasonal you know the, the pumpkin season. Uh, I like the smell of it. Look at this. Wait, look at her. Man, I'm like I dove into a swimming pool filled with pumpkin pie. That's what it is. This is called Pumpkin Spice Things Up. Limited edition. Notes of pumpkin, caramel, and spice. Goes perfectly with this beer. Which has pumpkin, brown sugar, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I mean, it's really starting to smell like the holidays in here. I like it. So, thanks for coming by. Remember, if you're at the store and you don't even know if you like these pumpkin beers or not, Ooh. Give them a try. They're great. So, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then.